Okay. It takes me way too long to upload on YouTube because I can come up with a video every five minutes if I, I'm going to have to figure something out. But this piece I just had there, this little axe piece, it's it's just as complex as both of the, these other two pieces. I bet this has the powder coat too. Um, this definitely is powder coated and it has the um, all the designs I'm going to show you. Let me just get rental real quick. There's the babe. This is the rounded nose of the babe. The eye. That's painted on with this powder coat slip technology. Which is basically like... Exactly like the printing on a $100 bill. You look at these designs and you will see intricate patterns. And... Um, okay. This is the babe. As you turn it, it goes to the standard sequence is every stone. This is the dual face man. See this dark area here? It goes up. That's the happiness side. See here? It comes down. That's the sadness side. There's a line right down the middle. And this is the two, the happiness and tragedy. Drama guy. Baby, drama guy. What? See this? Eye and this nose here. Now it's the old old man, and now it's death. It's cool. And you continue to you keep t turning. That's the pyramid, the eye of segment, and this is the other pyramid. See, just like that other one, it had the two pyramids. One was brown, and the other one was gray, just like this. And we keep looking, you'll see the arrows pointing it. And it, we, it can be translated, and I need help, but we'll get it eventually. Uh, I'll get it eventually, but it'd be a lot faster if we crowdsorted this thing. With all these arrows, you can see the pigmentation is physical evidence here of these designs. And you can um, probably put this under a high contrast filter. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. And it'll make these images pop out. Because I'm almost certain that's a bird form with the wings. I've seen it enough. I can tell you that this circle here is going to be... I haven't done it yet, but we're going to take this image, or you can do it right now, and do some contrast. Play with it under your in your phone app. But I bet this is a, a nest of baby birds and a mother bird. Like a couple of mother bird and father bird bringing... Um, bringing food to the babies and it's probably likely a snake because there's this whole story about the snake fighting the bird the bird fighting the snake I'm not 100% sure but we're going to get to it it's the feathered serpent sort of there's a story behind that it has to do with the snake being able to catch a bird and a bird being able to catch a snake and sort of the, the yin yang about that like the snake has no arms or legs but it can catch a bird the bird has wings and can fly, but I don't. I don't know. We're. I'm still figuring all that out. But okay. I'm not kidding, folks. Just like every one of these pieces is animal and a face from every different direction. So is this piece. It's got all the faces I just showed you. Let me show you the animals. Oh, hold on. Just a second here. Here we go. Start with the the pig or the, the cow. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but you can tell the no, the eye and the nose there. As you turn it, it's going to become the different animals, right? Which one is that? The badger? Is that the the, bob, the lion or the bobcat? Okay, keep turning it. I see the frog there. That's the frog. Sometimes I get the shapes confused. But that's the, I believe the frog, not the bird. You see, like, that's the frog, and that's the bird. As you spin it, it's going to become different animals. I believe we're getting to this snake here. I saw it. No, I saw a bear. Look, see this. That's part of the design, right there.
What is that? Is that the duck or the... So if that's the, like the stork or the... um. See the eye up here at the top corner? So that, that's the eye segment where I was just talking about. See the two different colors? The, oh, I just said that on this. Okay. It probably appears over and over again. That's probably one too. Do you not see the animal there? That is a dog. See the ear, the nose, the mouth, the eye. And the eye has different facets. Just like Picasso, if Picasso, these Indians were like Picasso, if instead of Picasso working on a flat surface, Picasso worked on rocks. I'm telling you, these are, this is genius stuff here. And it will be the full retinue of animals as you spin it around. And I'm sure that you could probably identify different snake species from this. This is just amazing, folks. And this is still the, the Mr. Potato Head version. I bet you go back and look who invented Mr. Potato Head. See right here, there'll be a stone, but this is also a mark for how to use the tool. I'm 100% certain this is lithic currency that's been printed on all sides for branding purposes. So maybe something like, like this might have been done at a secondary mint. Whereas this is sort of like central location or exported work. This would be branded. You'll see... If we analyze enough of these, look, I think, is that the mother bird with the, with the nest? Look, this is the bird's eyes. This is the, the beak. It's got in its mouth a snake, and it's bringing it, or a worm, or a snake, I believe it's a snake, or a fish, look, or a dinosaur. Shoot, everybody's talking about dinosaurs, but look, it's got two legs, a head here. I think it's like a little lizard. Here's the head here. And this could, sometimes there's mammoth on here. It's hard to tell, but we're gonna get it. Is this a mammoth? Okay. Let's get to the, the bird bringing the little snake. And this is the nest down here. And if you look, you'll see the birdie babies with their, with their mouths open. See that eye? See this mouth here? That's the head of the bird. This motif appears so many times, that's why I can say what it is. And I bet, not only is this black line, that's the back of the bird, and this is the wings and stuff of the baby bird right here. That looks like a bird, I mean, that see that looks like a little bird head? They have these in colors, contrasting next door colors, so that as you have the eye here, and the eye here, or oh, this is going to be a face, this is going to be a face. 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 I imagine if you look at every one of those aspects, you'll find something with a face to it. It's I've seen this pattern before. It's two dots, two dots, and a dot, and it just like inside holes, and it causes the cracks in this. You can follow this to the lithic reduction sequence too. Just follow the arrows. Where you hit it and knock off a point that's already designed for this. It's probably already cracked inherently in the stone where they ch chiseled it with a triangle. Let me find the tri triangular chisel strikes. Hold on. They had these triangular chisel strikes that puts a little divot in it. Like an eye. Do you see it right, right below my fingernail? That is not a natural stone mark it's not where two stones got smashed together it is where the royal mentors coined this see that duck that is the duck right there i can spin it and it will become was that a hognose snake i don't know wait is this the 
See, it changes. It's like, it's beautiful. And the funny thing is, any people, other people that picked up all the points passed by all this stuff. And this is, in the old times, this is worth far more than a point because this can be turned into points. A point's already been used. It can probably be broken up at best. So here's a little knife, a corner knife. It can probably be broken into best into a few different parts. A few bird points or something. This is amazing, folks. Do you not see that little cheeky bird right there? Or whatever it is, the little beak and the eye. We don't have long, folks. We got to figure this out.